Good evening, everybody. All right, let's go. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Well, the scouting report shouldn't lie because Sugar Ray Robinson tonight is fighting against the guy whose one goal is to get to the inside. Give me something to look for out of Ray Robinson with this kind of a matchup, Teddy. Well, obviously, you're talking about the guy trying to get on the inside, so Robinson fighting on the inside, using uppercuts, banging to the body, which he can do as good as anybody else, but I'm going to take it on the outside, that great jab, keeping the guy from getting inside, making him earn every inch of real estate. Gets rid of that body shot. He gets off with a combination up top. The killer's got a cut. It looks like it's below the eye on the cheek, but it's something that needs to be monitored. able to land the headshot. Halfway through this round. Robinson's defense is paying off now. Keep moving. Gotta see those coming. Both fighters told us that they want to have a similar approach early on here. They want to show a lot of varied attacks. Well, that gives them a better opportunity to be effective throughout the night. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by the killer. Strong's feeling the sting of that big uppercut. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Robinson's just looking to get it done on the back end here, Teddy. Yeah, he is. He's just waiting to set a trap. You know, he's trying to get his opponent to walk in where he can make a miss and bang, spring it on him. Now well, he missed that right. Keep that head moving. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Armstrong's nose is cut. And you can see that it's worsening as this round goes on. Good effective work with that straight right hand. And we come to the end of the round. The killer's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things. Avatine, adrenaline, and thrombin. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because that's the kind of cut that tempts you to use crazy glue. Let's visit the body, okay? Visit the body with some hooks and that will open up the head shot. Here we go. Round two is underway. It's much too early for him to be hearing this kind of analysis, but it's true. The killer's punches right now are slowing down. He's tired. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's mentally tired, he's discouraged, or physically he didn't put the work in. Able to cover up along the belt line. Blocks that one. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is.
defense just covering up down low. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. Robinson's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Ray Robinson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Armstrong's missing punches. I mean, there's just no way to sugarcoat it. His accuracy isn't there. And there's a reason for it, Joe. His punches are the wide variety. And wide punches get what? They don't find the mark. They're not accurate. And round number three is underway. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Keep it up. Little head hunting with the left. Robinson's almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get in, do his damage, and get out. Right now is a... He didn't see that left hand, and it got to him badly. He should really tie up now. They both just... Oh! Targeting that head and landing with a bomb. Climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. A target on his head, and he places the hook right on it. Sugar Ray Robinson lands a big uppercut. Sugar Ray Robinson with a solid left hand. Body shot lands, it was the right. Wow! He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. the fight. Armstrong smashed and he can't get up. Unable to beat the count. I never saw that coming. An early knockout victory. That's a stunner, Teddy. So as I look at it, maybe not as surprising as everybody else is because he came out very dry, no sweat on him at all, and he got caught cold. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.